Welcome to the Earthquake Hazard Map Script Project Presentation by Kelvin Smith and Carlos Osorio. First, I'll describe our project requirements as we go to the USGS website. So, we are to create an earthquake map atlas for every earthquake in the past five years in Utah. We need one map per earthquake showing the shake intensity which is a function of the ground movement and the terrain slope. Next, each map should be zoomed to the extents of the input data and all these maps should be put into one PDF document comprising a map atlas of earthquake events. Now our script does a lot for you. There are two things the user needs to download before running the script. The user needs a DEM of the state that you are in and also a shapefile. You can do that by adding your data here and going to your folders that you have. So here's our DEM and our shapefile is over here. Uh, now, what the script does is the script gets our acceleration data from this website, from the USGS. It downloads this zipped XYZ file, which looks like this. It has your event ID and other earthquake information, along with magnitude and epicenter location, date and time, and from line 2 to the end are the data points for this specific earthquake event. So now Carlos will show you the script. Hi, the, uh, this is it was created using the, the Python idle. The first thing that we are making here is uh, import the model that we need. The first one is the URL and also the important one is the RPI which is used for core RMath functions. In this blog we can see the variable that we need to get from the user interface that is very very important. We are configuring here the the information of the environment of RMath. Um, in this event in this part we are creating a dictionary to store the information of each event uh, that every time that we are generating each event the dictionary change and store the information of that is important to display in the layout uh, we created a small function to print the messages the messages in the rmap uh, console and here we have uh, uh, other function to get information of this this file that is located in the in the US, uh, USGS uh, web page we get all the information related with that event inside of this function we are calling the create info file function it is one in which we have the event and also uh, where is located the text that we are getting for this file. Here we are introducing that information in the dictionary and storing that as a global variable. In this uh, uh, function, we are uh, at this decompress the information that we are getting from that page. This is a grid file. We are saving the information in 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 one file and we are generating a, an test file with these three variables uh, with this uh, uh, information the longitude, latitude and also the acceleration, velocity and the intensity. Here is the function that we are using to get the information uh, to save the C file in our hard drive. The next step is another function to extract the information from the web page that is shown in this part. Uh, in that page 
we are getting the information of the name of each event and here is the small function to to get that that part here is the main process that we, that is executed the first one is to remove the the temporal file that was created uh, in in the folder he is set up in say, making the setup of the atlas if the atlas exists we remove that uh, pdf and here is creating the the document uh, we are making two loops the the first one is for uh, the star year and the sec and the second one is to go inside of each year get to obtain the each event when we extra we, we know what is the events we are we can uh, call one function to to make the process for that event when the process is correct we save that information in a in the master pdf always we are printing the messages to for for the user interface we save the pdf in this step and finally we we close and save all the the atlas pdf in this function we are we it's possible to call only one year in this case we it's possible to use this function and the main process is for execute the, or everything for only one event the first step is to download the the grid data. The sec the second step is to unzip the file. We are getting the information and we are making the geoprocessing step. And when you are after you made the geoprocessing correctly, it generated the PDF. And the geoprocessing step is very simple. Uh, we are uh, using the test file that is getting from the web page, we are generating the layer, we are interpolating the layer according with the resolution of the DTM, uh, we reclassify the uh, the check map in different classes that follow the same step that we may, that are found in, in the web page of SG, the USGS. Uh, we are creating a, a slope map, uh, reclassify that map using these five classes. We verif verify if the map is inside of Utah. We found that some some ev events are not located in 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 in, East, in Utah State. For that reason, we had to verify that. Um, we are making the combination of two math. Uh, we made the reclassification. We convert the reclassification, reclassification map in a polygon map to reduce the the size of the or uh, PDF map. Finally, this is the function to verify if the uh, shape map is inside of the uh, of the uh, or each or state and. Um, Finally, is the function to set up the layout in the MSD file. We are getting the MSD file, and here is the other information that we are um, uh, getting for this event. And we are changing here that information using the dictionary. The dictionary. Everything is called for a main function that is called process year, the initial year, the end year, and the state. It's very simple. Um, uh, is the main function for call or application. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carlos, for showing us the code. I'm going to show you how to execute our code. You go to our toolbox and double click the script, and our script user interface pops up. This is where you input all the model parameters that we need. You can even select the tool help, and that'll bring up the HTML file that we've created. Uh, to help you through the process of running our script. So I'm going to enter in the year 2008 and 2013 and hit OK and it will start running the program inside of our console. You can see that we are in the year 2008. Here's the event 
that we're working on. The console shows that it, right now it's computing uh, inverse distance weighted interpolation for our acceleration data and intermediate uh, intermediate messages will pop up here and show you uh, the progress of the script. The script takes approximately one and a half hours to run for uh, the five years to create our final PDF, uh, PDF atlas map. Here is our final PDF atlas map. It is 51 events and thus 51 pages. You can scroll through and each event is similarly formatted. We have the bottom right corner, a thumbnail showing context of where the event occurred in the state of Utah. We also have a base map in our grid. In the lower left corner we have our legend. And as you can tell, uh, our, the data, our output data in our map corresponds quite closely to the slope and uh, relatively close to the epicenter, which should be right in the middle of the data. So we thank you for watching, and this uh, we hope you enjoyed our project presentation for our earthquake hazard map.